What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy D. Today is Sunday and you guys already know that I love my Sundays and I love my Sundays because they're the beginning of the week and because also, let me turn on more lights. They're the beginning of the week and also I get to watch church even though I do my own thing during the week when it comes to church and stuff but I get to watch what excites me you know like I'm like all right what's the what's the message for this week God like what you got for me anyways you guys um yeah I woke up I took a shower I'm gonna be doing my hair later I'm excited to like curl it and I'm excited to like do it cute today is also the Laker game and this game number three and for those of you guys that don't know my favorite number is three so it's crazy because when AD came to the Lakers for also if you haven't like made the I don't know what you even say it but if you haven't caught it AD Amy Diaz AD so that's my boy right there anyways um last game he kicked ass I was like yes let's fucking go but you guys anyways um yeah today's a Laker game so I'm super excited because not only is my favorite number number three and not only is that the actual shirt that i have which is under my sweater right now and i'll show you guys later but today is also game three so last two games they kicked butt let's see what happens today i'm very very excited i didn't show you guys this but okay we haven't gotten a tv for the living room just yet like we've been obviously spending a lot of money in other stuff um by you know our own things so that is definitely not a priority so i was like i'm gonna leave my tv here in the living room and i'm gonna set it up so this is what i did and bitch the antenna is like that right there it's because it doesn't catch signal otherwise like channel 7 does not catch the signal and i'm trying to watch my game so i don't care how the antenna looks i'm like watching the game so anyways you guys we invited the girls over denny's gonna be coming over later the girls don't really care about basketball um stacy just wants to have somebody here to talk with um yeah like they don't really care for it but denny and i are all into the game talking about it or whatnot so eventually you know when my man comes in i'm gonna be like what's up what you got like let me know anyways you guys um I am gonna be gross going grocery shopping. I'm gonna be going grocery shopping because we don't have barely any food and I'm tired of eating out. I told you guys that last time. Um, so finally, I'm gonna go and eat. Um, also, you guys, look what I made. <laughs> I made a sweater with the God Got Me <laughs> that I'm excited for. I'm excited for it. Let me know what you guys feel. Honestly, like, I made it for myself, but already somebody, like, some people were like, oh my gosh, like, like, bring them out, bring them out, you know? Anyways, um, yeah, so what's up was really, really good. Anyways, you guys, I'm gonna be taking Oreo um, to his dad's. For those of you guys that don't know, Oreo is a dog, it's an eight-year-old dog that I share with my first ex. Um, I know don't get dogs that eventually you're gonna have to share if you are new here And if you're wondering why you almost never see Oreo around is because number one. He's a very quiet dog compared to Cena. Hi, oh, buddy um, Very calm, you know, like likes to stay, stay to himself likes to be on his own Unlike Cena you always see Cena around us or around Stacy most of it and Stacy's not here like on top of us I literally just had to like um, Use the lint roller on this because it was full of white hair from Cena being on top of me yesterday But yeah, you guys anyways if you're new here I share custody of Oreo and of course it's not like anything legal or whatnot but um, Oreo was a dog that we him and I when we were in a relationship um, we adopted from the pound and Oreo was 
in his house in my house back and forth ever since we got him like he never just kept one house and it was that way because my mom didn't want any dogs in the house and oreo was the first dog in the house and mom didn't like want any dogs in the house and also her apartments back then didn't accept any dogs so he wasn't always there that way he wouldn't be barking and so his mom at their house they already had one dog and they didn't want any more dogs so, so we just figured that we were going to keep him half and half and of course both of our moms fell in love with oreo and because he's such a cutie um that eventually you know like they both accepted him for the time that they were home so fast forward him and i broke up we still kept custody um both of oreo we are very great co-parents i guess you can say we don't really um we don't really like talk about other uh, anything else other than that, which is funny because if you follow me on TikTok, I know that you watched a TikTok that basically said that when we were moving here, he wanted to offer me three freaking thousand dollars for Oreo. And I was like, are you dumb, stupid, or dumb, huh? You know, but anyways, you guys, of course that didn't happen because I'm not about to sell my dog. Like I have so much love for this dog, which I get it. A lot of people that don't have dogs or a lot of people that are like, you just stay with the dog because I hate you and because I this, I'm not like that. I am one of a kind and I don't feel that way towards anybody and I don't hold hate in my heart for anyone. And it has been already four years since I have not been with this person. So um, it's cool to see, you know, that we're able to co-parent Oreo. And I'm happy that he gets to be with me for a week and he gets to be with him for a week. And, and you know, like we both get to miss him and we both get to keep him in our own times. But yeah, definitely I learned do not get a pet with a boyfriend just just don't i know it's cute right now and i know you're in love with the guy and i know that like it's for it's a for everything i know it i know it because it was for me too like that is exactly how i felt towards it but when everything came down and it happened i couldn't keep the dog 100 percent and I'm sure he feels the same way. Like he couldn't keep the dog 100%. And not just because we could, like I could literally be a bitch and be like, like when I moved, I could have been like, I'm not telling you where I'm moving. Like, peace out, I'm taking the dog. First of all, Oreo would have probably gotten depressed. And that's because Oreo looks like he already knows when it's time to go back and vice versa. Like he'll literally, like the day before he know it's a week, the day before he'll start heading to the main door. And he'll start wanting to go over there and wanting to go out with me everywhere I go because he's trying to figure out what is going on and where he's going. And actually, this was his first week here at um, at our place by for the first time, you know, like Sina was able to adapt and Sina was able to come in while we were moving things because I told Stacy we should bring her along in any trip so she gets adjusted to the place. And she was like, OK, that's a good idea. So I was in charge of like bringing Sina most of the time. And like Stacey would move some of the bigger stuff. Um, and you know, like we we took turns or whatever at the end. And then finally, when it was our turn to sleep here, like it was already my turn to get Oreo. So Oreo just came in, obviously with Cena and everything smelled like our stuff, but he still doesn't really know where we're at, you know? So he's obviously getting adjusted to it, acclimated to it. But yeah, this is where we're at. I'm gonna go take Oreo to his dad's because we also take turns and I take him one week, you bring him back the next. That's just what it is. Um, so yeah, you guys, just, don't share your dog <laughs> like don't get a dog with anyone and um yeah i'm gonna go grocery shopping and then after i'm gonna head back here i'm gonna ship you guys orders for the believe in the impossible tea which i'm so excited about you guys make sure um if you haven't noticed and if you didn't read the description please make sure that you air dry those shirts do not put them in the dryer i already i i okay i put it in the dryer and it does shrink so don't put yours in the dryer because i don't want it to shrink and i want you guys to be able to rock them you know like obviously more than once i could rock mine more than once and i don't care that it shrunk because first of all bitch is my shirt you know but as a customer i understand what you guys may be looking for and i'm also going to be working on changing the type of shirt that i print on so that 
you guys can put them in the dryer and so that it doesn't shrink on you guys but for this white tee i wanted it to be ultra cotton and i wanted it that way because i wanted it to be like a classic white tee like i love white it's one of my favorite colors and i love how people look in white like you just look crisp and clean you know what i mean like like it makes you look like you smell good like you're wearing a crisp white tee like <sighs> let me smell you like that's how i feel about it <laughs> So, and that's also how I feel about white shoes. If you see my pictures, like I keep them. But yeah, you guys, um, make sure you don't put it in the dryer. Anyways, I'll be back. I'm gonna go grocery shopping. I'm not gonna take you guys because the streets are weird right now. Y'all already know, like I'm not trying to have a million things in my hand and trying to be like dealing with everything. And then all of a sudden somebody tries to come up on my left side, like, you know what I mean? So anyways, um, I'll definitely leave you guys here and I will see you when I come back from grocery shopping. Today's going to be fun. It's a Laker game. It's a church day. It's a packing day. It's everything going on. So I'll be back. Hey guys, I am back from grocery shopping, from dropping off Oreo. I also went to go wash my car. It is time for church. So I'm gonna put all the groceries away and I'm gonna watch church in the meantime that I cook so I can eat something for breakfast and not be hungry as every day that I am because I hadn't had any groceries before. But you guys, oh my gosh, I just got super emotional. You guys know that my playlist goes from like all kinds of genres, like everywhere. And sometimes i really like to just like be in the moment you know and like like just ride you know what i mean and i um this song came up and it's called closer and if you have never heard this song i don't even know how to say her name but it's r b slash soul um and it's called closer and it just the song says like closer to my dreams you know and it just like gave me the chills i listened to it twice and it gave me the chills twice and it made me cry twice because it literally tells you like close your eyes and imagine your dreams you know like imagine you are where you want to be and it even gets me emotional right now because everything that i'm doing right now i would have never imagined to be doing you know like even being here like i would have never imagined being here and it feels so good and and i appreciate all of you guys' support you know it's crazy um it's crazy because my sister's the one that started with youtube and and you know like i'm here now also doing it and and just to see everything she's done and just to see everything i'm doing like it's it's such a great feeling like i that this was never in my imagination as something that i could have even accomplished or something that i could have even been doing and it's just great like i have so much i have a surprise for you guys and i'm not ready to share it yet but like i have i have things to that are coming you know like i really do and i'm so excited and and i just have so much enthusiasm in my in my chest right now that it makes me emotional and it makes me want to cry but anyways i'm gonna get to church so that i can see what god wants to tell me and i can see what i have to work on this week and 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 what those things are and i'm gonna catch up with you guys in a little bit all right see you guys soon what's up you guys i am back church is over i have also cooked breakfast i cooked me some huevos con papas y chorizo and then i also cooked some chicken and i shredded it so that i can make um a chicken salad for lunch and whatnot i am steaming some i already steamed some carrots I just finished steaming some carrots and I'm also gonna add some corn which I'll cook with you guys. I guess in the meantime, I guess while I cook, I'm gonna talk to you guys because this sermon just made me cry. All right, you guys, so basically today the sermon was about forgiveness. And for those of you guys that don't follow um, Transformation Church or Pastor Mike, um, I found him through the relationship series that he had and God knew that I needed to watch that sermon because I was going obviously through a breakup at the time where I was 
so deeply in love and so hurt to not be able to have this person and not because again he what he did something wrong or because of anything like that um, or disrespectful or nothing like that it was it just wasn't what it was at the time it just wasn't God's timing so um, yeah anyways I, that's how I found it that's how I found him and I remember I went through all of the series crazy faith series I went through all of the series that he has and you guys can check them out at transformation church and I even like the other pastors when pastor mike wasn't there the other pastors would come and for the church give their own sermons and their own testimony and whatnot basically he right now is giving if he's going to be doing a 10 sermon um or for 10 weeks he's going to be talking about forgiveness and he's calling it um for university of Forg forgiveness or something like that Anyways, today's sermon is was about not holding on to grudges basically and forgiving people because ultimately you guys, I don't know if you have ever experienced, but there is freedom in forgiveness when you forgive other people for what they've done and this doesn't mean you go to their house or you call them to be like, yo, I need to forgive you or you need to forgive me or some airplanes passing by. It's not about that. It's about you releasing whatever you're holding on in your heart and being like, I forgive anything that happened between that person and I, and I no longer want to hold on to that offense that I have been holding on to. I forgive my father for leaving me. I forgive whatever it is that's in your life that happened. Like, I forgive this person for cheating on me. I forgive this person for hurting me. I forgive this person for not wanting to go with me somewhere that I wanted to go because I did them the favor and they didn't do it for me. All of that, like all of those little things are things that we hold on to that a lot of the times we don't even think about that are, mira esta me manche, that are like holding us back from our purpose. And we all have a purpose. It's just a matter of digging in through what your purpose is. But when you have all these things that are holding you back, then you can't get through them. Anyways, I'm gonna get to doing my hair and getting ready because the laker game is coming and you already know y'all already know who i'm going for y'all already know i'm repping my number three in the back it says davis with the big number three that's my number anyways i'm gonna clean up i'm gonna do my makeup or not my makeup i'm gonna just prepare for the day even though it has been a long morning because i've been doing a lot and i'm cooking and i'm doing all kinds of things but I think um, our friends are coming over. I'm gonna send them a text and see if they are. And yeah, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Baby, I want just. Anyways, you guys, I have finished my orders. Ah, they're on their way to you. I'm so excited. I'm so, 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 so excited to see you guys rock them. Thank you guys so, so much from the bottom of my heart. You guys have no idea. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish this chicken salad. The girls are gonna be coming over to watch the game, even though they're not gonna watch it. <laughs> That's right, you guys. Look who made it. <laughs> Sam is here. She was like, Can I borrow your mirror? And I was like, Yeah, go ahead, girl. Mm hmm. Okay. Because last time I saw the vanity, you didn't have everything put away. Yup. Look, you guys. First of all, let me put away my bra. Okay, wait, let me get y'all ready for this, okay? okay? Since the get-go hole, the window. The motherfucking window. Period. Okay, <laughs> but let's just come in. We're gonna come in and we're gonna just do a little tour real quick, okay? Are you, I don't think you bitches is ready though, because I feel a lot of peace, ho. I feel, you know what? Hey. It's God. God is yeah, in here. God is in it. It smells good. It smells bomb. The abundance book is on Thank the you. I got mine in the backpack. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, I got it. Woo. Okay, and then look, the window is just the best part. I Period. Period. Like, I it is so cute. Oh, perfect. Yes, home. I love it. Perfect home. Ari yes. is looking great over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, where's Aubrey? Uh, Aubrey's over here. Oh. I still haven't figured out a home for him. <laughs> but I gotta figure it out. Probably when I get my... Um... <laughs> 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 
you not guys. Do anything, I don't mind. Like I'm ready. I'm yeah, but chilling. I just still said it really yes. fast. <laughs> All right, you guys. Look who is here. Stacy looking like a whole wife with her legs. I see wifey. Haters want to fight me. Okay. okay. <laughs> you good, sis? Yes. <laughs> Great. Okay, you guys. I'm we lavish. are gonna go, huh? I'm lavish. Me too. Period. Period. She's starting the book. Oh, you guys, the abundance book. What Samantha it? bought it and she's Yo, gonna no, start I it. I read the, the intro. It has like two little intros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I didn't read the intros. Me neither. I just skipped Wait, But I yesterday I start you don't have to read the intros. You, you could just do get started. But do you guys understand the intros like lit? I don't really. I remember. Oh no, I don't remember. But I'm reading the end right now, and the end is lit. Really? I went to sleep yesterday, like. Mm -hmm. Wait, I'm all that. Why Once you get to like actually that? doing like the exercises, the exercises, it's great. Stacy, are you keeping up? Have you missed any? Mm -hmm. So no, Stacy and I cold. started the book together, but she missed one of the days. How many days before? It was day 31 that I missed. Okay, and then so if you miss one day, you have to start all over. Boom, yes. So you haven't missed. Day 25. I finished the whole 40 days, but going back to it is great. It still feels amazing. So anyways, you guys, Sam is gonna start it. It's great. We are gonna go get Boba right now, and then we will be right back. All right, you guys, we got Boba! <laughs> and you guys, uno ya saben que es acá, que you know, like you want one for right now and one for later. Yup, yup. <laughs> we literally, okay. I got me a matcha ice blend with boba that I'm about to drink right now. So I'm gonna put right here. But I also got me a milk tea for later, okay? Because you already know what it is. Like, what you mean? So, yeah, and I got Stacey a jasmine tea. And she got also La Sami Me Sigue El Rollo, which I, I mean, love I mean. about her. I love it. Porque la Stacey would be like, no, 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 that's too much. That's too much. <laughs> I love it. So. That's gonna be our theme song. Bien go. I'm gonna be drinking it like bien golosa. Yes, bitch. I don't give a fuck what nobody says. I'm about to have two bobas. Bye. Guys, I hit something really hard and I ended up getting a flat tire and I hadn't realized it was a flat tire, but I was like, there's something wrong with my car. Like, it doesn't drive this way. And I told Sam and I was like, I, I feel like it. So when I like something is wrong and then right now I kept hearing it and I was like no something is wrong We've been driving on it for a while though because It's not a while No but this car looks like it like right away had to have gone out the game Look at this shit right here Bitch Oh fuck Look at this shit right there It's a new tire for sure Like there's no way This is what hit that metal thing Fuck look you guys Pero como la pegó I don't know, but I fucking popped my tire. Wow. <gasps> Look at this shit. That's what I'm saying. What the fuck were we doing? I was just driving. What no, do you I mean? Know. I must have hit something no. that fucking did that. I know. It was the metal thing, pero como lo raspo así? No, like it the wasn't the metal thing. When I when I passed the... When you turned? Um, when I passed the, the, rail, the rail tracks, there must have been something there that hit it. Oh, that's that what happened. So I yeah. Was, oh, so I, I just call like, the homie Denny because that's the only man I know in my life and I don't know how to change the freaking tires. All right, you guys. So um, Denny was gonna come. He was like the first person I thought of because honestly, like I don't know how to change a tire. Um, my dad obviously doesn't live anywhere near here and Sam doesn't know how to change a tire. Um, but then honestly, like, as I was thinking about everything, I was like, oh shit, I have AAA. Dude, AAA comes in clutch. I don't give a crap what nobody says. Thank you, God, because I have AAA, and thank you because nothing actually happened to us. Um, so yeah, I called AAA. They're gonna be coming. I told Denny, never mind, don't worry about it. He's gonna stay. Or he went to go pick up food for the Laker game. Here I am, trying to, you know, like, have a good ass Sunday and the devil try to play with my faith and stuff but you know what we out here thank you God because nothing actually happened to me um, so they should be here within the next 15 minutes and now I have to buy a tire yay me because that shit is like it popped 
like like I'm surprised you made it we made it <laughs> I'm surprised like I just had a good feeling where I was like let me just check, check. like let me just check and so I did so now we're waiting for AAA to come and Sam is here with me Never take me, me tea, I'm sorry. she finished her tea I one. am <laughs> finishing mine and Stacy's like where are you at bitch I'm about to tell you where I'm at like wait 30 minutes actually Denny has the tea let Denny tell you the tea because he loves the tea he would be like yo I got tea yep Denny be the tea queen oh, okay so Denny's gonna be the one that comes in and says oh Denny's why they haven't got yeah. there okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna let Denny shine with why we're not there yet oh, but yeah, yeah. all right they should be here soon shout out to AAA get AAA you guys I am not sponsored I should be getting a free membership right now but low key get AAA because me ha sacado de apuros low key so I just right now as I took it out though mine expires October 8th oh yeah bitch we cut it close yes today is the fucking fourth Today is the 4th of October. I have to renew. I'm I'm getting renew home it. today and renewing my <laughs> shit. Yeah, I have not I, used I, I, it. I, yes, I have not used it in like three years. And usually when I use it, like I'll help someone out and be like, oh, I got AAA, you could have it. But now I needed it for me. So not an ad, but I'm gonna go renew my shit when I get home because wow. You guys, shout out to the homie Denny. The homie Denny just pulled up to the scene. Como dice la canción del Lucid? I know, I don't remember. <laughs> What's up? Yes, you figured it out. Dude, look. Look at that shit. I don't want to show your car because I don't want them to know what car you drive. <laughs> you smell good, bro. Creed, bro. Dead. Dude. It's just green. It's just green. Nah, I don't, oh, shit. Yes. Oh, shit. Yes. I don't know what I hit. You hit, a, you hit a curve, bro. Yeah, something. I hit the fucking train and shit. I don't know what I hit. Where did you realize it No, so over there, as soon as it happened, I was like, dude, what did I tell you? I said something. And I was like, oh, my car feels weird. And I was like, oh, no, maybe it was just the road. So we changed roads, and I was like, oh, no, it feels better. And then it just kept feeling that way. So I was like, like I just had a gut feeling, and I was like, let me just pull over and check. And boom. Fucking Sam got out, started cracking up. And then after I realized why the fuck she was laughing, and I was like, wow. We survived that. <laughs> I was like, I don't want Denny J to get dirty, so let me just call AAA. And I did. They're, they'll be here, they said, in the next 15 minutes. So I sent him my location. Pot, drop a pin, send a location. Period. You got the food? Yeah. Let's just eat without the <laughs> Was that for everybody or just for her? Why? What'd she get? I don't know. I saw like $60. Yeah. No, it was for all of us. Alright. What did you what are you eating? I don't know. Oh, you're not eating that? Oh, I didn't know. I thought Hey y'all. Come because Hi. How are you? Do you mind coming out of my vlog? Okay. Oh, I don't have to show you actually. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Yay! <laughs> I know. Uno que no tiene nadie. Luego, you got a flat tire. <laughs> Why are you guys not playing the game? That's the real tea. I want to cry. What's going on? Careful. My dad, I did it on the other side. My dad bet me that Miami was gonna win today, you guys, and it's game three. I already had a idea that they were gonna win today anyway because it just has to last longer. Tiene que haber, you know, like, come on, do something. Like, the Lakers suck today. You know what I mean? Like, it just has to be what it is. So, anyways, I'm gonna start and I'm gonna order some pizza because Annie and I want pizza. We also got some wings. Thank you for coming out, bro. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, it's, it's a lot happening right now. I have. I haven't felt like this before. Mm. 
<laughs> and my dad sleep on the floor. But actually, I think right now we're kind of like a pocket. The pizza guy not even here yet, and Denny's already waiting at the <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, you guys. I want to cry. <laughs> you can't close it because of the lock. <laughs> Y'all didn't want that or what? <laughs> you guys don't know who that is? Oh. <laughs> 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 Jenny said, how much was the pizza? <laughs> Dead. All right, you guys. Oh, and then we also got some wings. <laughs> Yeah. Half time, half time. What did he do? He's like, like, bro, get the fuck out of here. You made four shots the whole game. Better get playing time when you were here. You guys, so my dad wanted to bet and. Um, I was like, sent him a text and I was like, me debes 50 dollars. He's like, si tu perdiste, tu me debes. <laughs> I was like, no apostamos. And he's like, ganó Miami. Ha, 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 ha. He just wants to go against me. He said, es negocio, tenía que perder los Lakers. El que sigue también lo perderá, creo. <laughs> Which is facts, because Butler played really good today. But I'm sorry, you're not part of the Lakers. The Lakers are taking this year, period. <laughs> but yeah. One of the players in the Miami uh, team, but he made a shot. That that <laughs> He's still doing that shit. <laughs> what did he do? What did he do? He was like, Bro, chill. Like, one shot you made and. <laughs> It was the N1. That's oh, what it was. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. the N1. Like he was like, look, 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 look. Yup. Look you at his look, face. You guys look, look. Stop. <laughs> Cocky ass motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only one that he made. Den in. Denny was like, this ain't no Kobe. R.I.P. Kobe. R.I.P. No. Kobe. But like, what? He, Kobe coming to like, you know, Kobe and Brian, you know, like. <laughs> Period. Like, if you're an all star, yeah. like, mom, you have not, like, stop. Boy, if you don't sit down. 